Hey guys, it's Rachel Miner here talking to you. So glad to come to you today. I wanted to reach out to all of you tired moms. All of you moms that try every day to be the best mom you can, whether you got little ones running around, whether you got teenagers, maybe you're even like a grandma and you help take care of kids or you babysit your little grandkids and stuff. And you know what? We as moms, we get exhausted, don't we? Like, we wake up early, we get them off to school, we take care of their needs, we make them lunches, we run them their homework when they forget, we remind them their sports or lessons or something after school while, you know, whether we work or we're home, doing laundry, taking care of things, making dinner, it can just get exhausting, you know? And then we like, Put them to bed and do their homework and, you know, finish our stuff around the house. Clean up again. Do the dishes and go to bed and lay down so exhausted and then we start again the next day. And I know that I am somebody who sometimes that can be very tiring, let alone adding in church, community, social, friends, date night with spouses or significant others like like you got to add it all in, you know, and then, you know, take care of yourself and keep on top of things and look nice and not look like, you know, you just woke up every day. So I wanted to share a story with you guys. I am a tired mom. Okay. I have seven children. Yep. Seven. Yes. I have five girls and two little boys and the two little boys sometimes can be more than all the five girls. So they keep me on my toes. And I am involved in a lot of different things. Um, I'm a hairdresser as well. I do hair part time and try to keep up with the family. Uh, my husband and I own are self-employed, so we own several businesses. Um, and I currently have a few other projects that are in the fire and I'm working on that I'll share with you a little bit later. So um, I know how it is. And, you know, just a couple of years ago, I was at a point in my life where the tiredness was getting to me and I had some health issues and the fatigue was becoming chronic fatigue and I couldn't, you know, handle it anymore. I was just so tired and my kids knew me as the mom that, you know, they'd come wake me up and I'd be like, five more minutes, just give me five more minutes, you know, I'll come out and make breakfast in five more minutes, I'll come out and find your socks in five more minutes, five more minutes, and I was the five more minutes mom and so I know how that is and then, you know, us as moms then feel bad about ourselves because we're not, you know, up at the crack of dawn and doing what we're supposed to be doing you know, and I'd send my kids off to school and sometimes I'd climb back in bed because the fatigue was just so exhausting that I just didn't have the energy. And I'm a person that exercises. I'm a runner. I love to run. And sometimes, you know, I would go exercise and then I'd come home and just be exhausted all day. And I'd be like, wait a minute, you're supposed to, you know, exercise and eat right and feel good. And I just did not feel good. You know, I had a lot of other health issues. I was stuffed up all the time. My mood wasn't good, you know. And so, you know, dry eyes, things like that, that just compounded and compounded. I was anxious all the time, you know. And then it starts to come out that, like, you're not the happy mom anymore, you know. And your kids do something, and sometimes you find yourself snapping, and you're just like, I don't want that to be me. So I was at a point that I'm like, something has to change. And I had tried a lot of things, you know, diet, exercise, a lot of other products out there and I couldn't find anything that would help me really really fix my problems and so I finally found a product and it's this little tiny pouch right here okay this little thing slim it's called the pink drink it is wonderful and the thing I love it is it's plant-based all natural it's like crushed plants in your cup drinking up but it has a nice fruity flavor and guess what? It helps you sleep good. It helps you have natural energy. You don't have a high followed by a crash because you drink your 44 ounces of whatever, you know, diet caffeinated soda to get you through the day and then you crashed and needed it again. Like it's going to give you natural energy, help you sleep good. Like there were days that I would get 10 hours of sleep and I'd still wake up exhausted because I wasn't getting good sleep. So now I get good sleep. So the story I wanted to share with you is I started taking this product and after about three days, I woke up and I felt rested. Now, I have never been a morning person in my entire life, ever, 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 ever. Like, 
Growing up, like people knew our house as the lighthouse because at 10 p.m. our lights were always on and that's usually when like the family all got together, had some ice cream, played some games. Like we were definitely night owls. When my husband married into the family, he's like, I can't handle this. Your family stays up all hours of the night and my extended family still does. So I'm a night owl. So I do not get up one minute before I have to in the morning. And you know, I don't know if you guys are like that where you set the alarm and know that you're going to snooze two or three times because it's going to take that many times to get up. And I never understood morning people. I never understood why you'd be a morning person if you didn't have to be. And there were days, you know, you have to get up early. So you set the alarm and you get up and you get going because you have to. But by choice, that was never me, never me, never me. So after a couple days, I started waking up early before the alarm clock. We're talking like 6, 6.30 in the morning. And I'm like... What do people do in the mornings? And sometimes I get up and I exercise and I get it done for the day and it's great. But other days I'm like, like, what do people do? Like I'm, and I would wake up and I'd be wide awake and I would be rested. So it wasn't like I woke up and I couldn't sleep and I can't go back to bed because that would happen all the time, but I'd be exhausted. But I would wake up and I'd be like, I have energy and I don't know what to do. So I'd wake up and I'd like start doing the laundry, clean the house, do some dishes, just like to do things to keep myself busy while I waited for everybody else to get up. So after a couple days of getting up, my husband comes to me and he's like, we've got to talk. And I'm like, oh no, what's going on? You know? And he's like, what? I, I've been, you know, thinking about for a couple days. He's like, what did I do? What, what did I do? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, the only time you've ever gotten out of bed and gotten up early and left the bed is like when you're upset with me and I have done something to upset you. So I'm trying to decide like, what did I do to upset you? And I just started laughing and I'm like, nothing. I go, I just have this energy and I don't know what to do with it. So I've been getting out of bed early and he was like so relieved. He's like, oh my gosh, I've been thinking for days. Like how, what did I do and how can I talk to you about this? So I just had to throw that out there because it affected me so much that the people around me noticed. They noticed I was happier. They noticed I wasn't tired. My kids didn't have to come in anymore because I woke them up and it was so wonderful. So I would love to answer any questions you guys have. If you want to know more, that's fine. But I also would love to guys let you know on one of the projects I'm working on is about gut health. Now, I don't know if you know, but um, blood sugar is related to gut health. And this little thing helps your blood sugar. It balances your blood sugar. And that's how come it works. It's helping your body function properly. And people don't think they have blood sugar if they're like not diabetic. But if you don't sleep well, if you crave sugar, you're addicted to soda, you know, you have excess weight, those kinds of things, those are blood sugar imbalances. So I'm working on this book. It's a gut health book and I would love your help. I would love to know the questions that you would like answered about gut health and everything that relates to gut because our mood, our immune system, 80 to 90% of our health is all related to gut health. So shoot me a question, put it in the comments, or you know what? Just even message me. I would love that. So then I can share with you guys some of the questions I came up with and what were some of the most common questions and give you guys some answers, okay? You guys have a great day. Bye.